Hey everyone, welcome to Live Chat Tuesday number 149. I'm Crystal. If you are watching the replay, leave me a comment down below, hit the like button. And if you're here with the uh, with me currently, leave me a comment in the chat. So um, just so y'all know, Dee was going to be with me today, but she's got a lot of stuff going on. So she's going to reschedule for either uh, Friday or next Tuesday. So uh, with me and Mel, but I'm not 100% sure yet. She'll get back with me. But anyway, um, welcome in Soyla and Grandma Wanda and Kim. How are y'all doing today? Welcome in Michelle J and Alex, Chuck. I'm doing all right. How are y'all? Thank you, Soyla, for the prayers. Aunt Dale's doing okay. She's uh, lucid, at least. <laughs> Welcome in, Ganey Joe. Today might be a short live, so um, you're busy packing and cleaning? Oh, fun, fun. <laughs> Welcome in, Envita. How are you? Thank you, Kim. She, uh, my aunt has done real well. Um, it Yesterday she had a seizure and it had been one year, one month and four days since her last one. So in between the last one to the one she had yesterday. So, um, but she's uh, doing okay. So welcome in Delphina, how you doing? Plus, we got storms on the way, so yeah, and we're under tornado watch. I hate that. <laughs> or, well, I don't know if we are, but I know the county next to us is, and that's always scary. Welcome in, Diana D. How are you? Uh, Oh, thank you, Delphina. Welcome in, Tracy. How are you? We do know that, oh, you're currently under thunderstorms. Oh, yeah, we had uh, some rain yesterday. Um, thank you, Ganey Joe. Uh, we had tornado watch yesterday actually a tornado warning and that was i always hate i hate it when it's a, at at night because you can't see them coming but during the day you can see it all right gainy joe time six guts down thank you so much Ugh. You finally feeling better, Diana D? Good, good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Aw, thank you, Diana D. And I'm gonna, that's only one penny off. That's gonna be a $5 entry, so a six for you also. Yes, I got to see the eclipse. I mean, we were only, it was still a partial because you could see like a little thumbnail of the the sun but yeah i got to see it it was uh it was it was interesting for sure oh thank you grandma wanda for gifting a membership oh and Aunt Vita got it awesome grandma wanda And Vita got it. Congrats, Ann Vita. Got you down. Check goes woo woo. <laughs> um, let's see. 
I started spinning some of the colored wool that I bought a couple of weekends ago from the um, store that we went to uh, that sold the wool. And um, I had got Mediterranean, which it's a darker blue, uh, aquamarine, and hot pink. Oh, it's so pretty. Okay. Hey, you need to make sure that ladder is a little more stable. I don't want you falling if I'm not out there. Okay. I probably won't be but 30 minutes or so. Then I'll help you. We are working on our shed trying to make it more um, uh, where moisture can't get in there and ruin the lawnmower. So we just had a guy put up some sheetrock and some different boards and we're trying to put certain things up and I don't want my grandma on a ladder if, if I'm not out there. So we don't need her falling. So, but there's other stuff she can do. You've missed chatting. Oh, well, I'm, I'm happy you're here, Diana D. It's raining in North Dallas. It started sprinkling this morning. I don't know if we're going to get more. Let's see. Let's see. Hey, hey, Mama, can you do? Oh, my spinning wheel's in the way of the. Hold on. Let me. They want to see the yarn that I did, and it's in the closet. So you might have to pull that. No, just move that out of the way if you can. I, I should have gotten it out of the closet. <laughs> I didn't think about it. Hey, Julia, how you doing? Thank you so much for the prayers for Aunt Dale. She's doing okay. Better than yesterday. Better, yes, de definitely better than yesterday. How are you feeling, Julia? I know you've been pretty sick. Okay, so this is the yarn that I spun. I was able to repeat the colors three times. Uh, no. <laughs> Let me rephrase that. I repeated three colors five times, and it is 95 strands. Hey, Thress, welcome, welcome. Um, and it's 190 yards, and that's only one bobbin full. Now, my co the colors may not show up real well because of this camera. Let's try there. So there's the Mediterranean, the aqua, and the hot pink. And all of this fiber was pre-dyed. I bought it these colors. So, but I am very excited. Very, very excited. It's so pretty. And it's merino. Thank you, Mama. Therese is work, lurking and working. Well, that is fine. Thank you, Grigma Wanda. Um, this one's going to be for me, but I have like 12 ounces of this wool, so I might have enough uh, to do another, you know, tank for you. Um, so let me write that down so I don't forget who wants it. So Diana D., now, this one, like I said, is going to be for me. I'm going to do one more bobbin pull. And then what I have left over, um, we can work something out. Uh, okay, so Diana D. Of a very small space. <laughs> Welcome in, Antoinette. How you doing? Weather yuck here, and I feel same. Oh, I'm so sorry. Thank you for the prayers for Aunt Dale. What? What about Gamey Joe? My heart is in my throat with that big thunder strike that just happened. Oh no! Stay safe. Yeah, I hate thunderstorms when they're right on top of you. If they're in the distance, I like watching the lightning and all that, but not when they're like right on top of you. That's that's a little scary. 
I try to catch these replays during live streaming, so I am caught up when the replay gets posted to live. <laughs> That's funny. Well, thank you so much, Chuck, for being here. Thank you, Kim. Thank you, Envita. You're okay, just feeling tired. Welcome in, Angela. She's still working on her turtle. Awesome. Thank you. What jump? We are getting slammed with storms in Temple, Texas. You're very welcome, Diana. Now, two bobbins. I, I uh, did some yarn for Thrifts, and it's actually being sent to her. It's undyed, so she's going to dye it herself. But one hank ended up, she bought two hanks plus a little mini one, um, the whole eight ounce that I had. But the neat thing was two bobbins did 340 yards. And then another two bobbins did 370 yards. So, I mean, out of two bobbins, that's that's enough yarn to make a small project. So that'll kind of give you an idea of what the yardage will be. Oh, good, Grandma Wanda. You're having decent weather there for a change. Welcome in, Rudy. Well, hello, Softball Susie, Twisted Roots. How are you? And welcome. Oh, well, thank you, Delphina. That's so sweet of you. I'll be praying for you for a, a quick recovery and, and quick healing for your surgery. I'm still working on that yellow shawl. I haven't touched it. <laughs> I um I've I've really started enjoying the spinning. I'm getting faster. It's it's huh? Yes, I think I'm addicted to spinning. <laughs> it I sit there for a while and it does mess with my back a little bit, but a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Mama's correcting me. <laughs> um, no, so yeah, that's the only kind of project I'm working on is spinning some yarn. And like I said, I had spun some yarn for, for Thrift. So that's kind of what I had been doing for the last uh, week is spinning uh, yarn for Thrift. Well, hello, Katie. I'm glad you made it. Beautiful crystal and fellow yarny cats spinning and watching. Hope everyone is doing well and staying safe. Well, thank you so much, Katie. I hope you slept well. Got you down, Katie. Thank you so much. You know, and that reminds me, I, I need to gift out my my memberships that YouTube gives me. So let me do that before I forget. Yes, I'm busy. Oh, you're talking to, to Katie. She's busy spinning. Yep. She's got the spinning bug too. Okay. Um, I'm going to gift out five out of my 10 um, memberships that they, they give. Okay, so gift five now. And whoever gets it will get an entry for being a member plus an extra one. Okie dokie. Um, that was quick. It just zoomed right by. Okay, so we have Julia, Doodly Julia. That's kind of your nickname that I write in my book now, Doodly Julia. <laughs> so. Um. 
uh, softball. Susie got one. Well, congrats. I'm not doing the, you know what, Katie, I don't think that I did any noise. So that one's the clucks for you. The other two are for uh, Julia and Susie. I'm just guessing your name is Susie since it's in there. So uh, correct me if I'm wrong. We have Demetra, the naked snail. Oh, the phone. One second. Oh, it's my mom. I'll call it back. Okay, so the naked snail. Uh, armchair chef. Lori. And, oh, this is the first time that I've seen this one. Oh, and it jumped. My chat jumped. Miss Frosty, F-K-A-A-B-D. I have no idea who that is, so congratulations. Frosty, F-K-A-A-B-D. Okay. Yes, they do. Um, you have to, uh, so Thris, you have to be on your channel watching your live as if you were somebody else, straight off YouTube. And if you go to the little dollar sign and do uh, membership, it prompts and it says YouTube has given you 10 gifted memberships free of charge. So you can gift out 10 a month for free and you do five at a time. So you can do it two different times or you can just do it all in one live two times, you know. Uh, but yes, they've they've started giving every channel that's monetized um, 10 free memberships a month. So you can gift your members free memberships. And I think that's awesome. Welcome in, Dolly Joy. How are you? I'm happy you're here. If you get an opportunity, Dee needs to learn how to gift her memberships. It's the, um, I'll get with her. I'll get with her. She can't watch from StreamYard. She has to watch from YouTube. Um, like as if I was sitting watching her live. So she has to watch her own live and gift them in the chat separately from, you know, like, different we have the cutest little names for each other all oh. well hello Bridget welcome welcome yep must been must been <laughs> uh, oh and my chat jumped You're very welcome, Thrith. Glad I could help. What color will I dye my hair next? Um, I really need to redo this because this is really faded out. And I started noticing the ends right here is showing blonde. <laughs> so it's really faded out. Now I have a hair stuck in my mouth. Um, but yeah, I really need to redo. It's a shampoo. Uh, no color depositing shampoo uh teal it looks kind of green but because it's so faded <laughs> um but yeah i just need to re it and i tried that uh sun in spray that i got on my roots and it's not really turning it too blonde so i don't know it did make it a little lighter but not light enough Welcome in, Demetra. <clears throat> no, no orange, Chuck. 
Oh, you're very welcome, Demetra. It it was at home. My bike flipped. Oh, I got into a bike accident on Friday, but healing up nicely. Well, I'm glad you're not too hurt, Alex. That's that's the main thing, and I'm glad you're feeling. Aww. I would love to see that, Antoinette. That's awesome. Platinum blonde. Yeah, I've, I've been platinum blonde before. Uh, I bleached it uh, last year. And I swore I would never do that again because it smelled like a wet dog a fried wet dog and I'm like and I only left it on like 10 minutes and I'm like yeah no not doing bleach again purple mm, maybe <laughs> I don't know I it took a while for to you know kind of get my grandmother used to this color because this teal is my favorite so um yeah <laughs> I start changing up different colors I think she'll kick my behind because I still live in her house it's still her rules but you know it does wash out it fades out so eventually yeah 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 summer I just go blonde you know regular hair color blonde <laughs> oh you My mom sent a photo. Okay. <laughs> oh, look how cute. Oh, those are adorable. <laughs> That's cute, Antoinette. No, no banana yellow. I don't want to look like a banana. <laughs> Even the nest is crocheted. Yeah, I noticed that. That is super cute. Have you finished it or are you starting it? <coughs> oh, you're welcome, Antoinette. If you want light blonde hair, use a light blonde color with higher volume developer. 20 is normal. Use a 40 volume and leave on longer with plastic wrapped around your head. I used to. I'm, I'm just, tr I try to be very, very careful when I do dye my hair because it's already damaged quite a bit. But the reason I use the shampooing conditioner not shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> the shampooing color is because it actually does not damage your hair. It actually conditions it every time you use it. So it don't damage it any way, shape, or form. Um, and every time I dye my hair, even if it's just my roots, when I go to wash it with regular shampoo, it feels like it's matted up. And I have to use the conditioner. But I think that's normal when you home dye your hair. But I try not to unless I really, really have to. You know, like when my roots get down <laughs> to here, which they're almost, you know, they're, they're grown out quite a bit. But that way doesn't damage like bleach did at all yeah that is very true welcome in Renell. how are you you're not late you're here when you're here welcome in mama gwen how are you <clears throat> i was thinking on my friday lives um since i don't have any guests scheduled 
I was thinking about maybe once or twice a month because I have four or five, depending on, you know, how many Fridays are in the month. Um, sometimes it's four, sometimes it's five. I was thinking about doing a split screen live while spinning. What do y'all think? I mean, would y'all enjoy watching me spin? I would still interact with the chat. I have a Chromebook here that was gifted to me and I could go live from that and I could still read the chat and then have my phone set up to where y'all can see the spinning wheel, um, like split screen. So what do y'all think? Would that be interesting or no? I was going to do like a community tab post poll, you know, have y'all vote. Smash up an avocado. I remember you telling me about this, I think. Avocado, put a teaspoon or two of local honey, rub into your hair, let sit 15 minutes. So wash out, puts lots of vitamins back into your hair. Well, it sounds like a lot of people is interested in it. Sounds like fun. Whatever you want is good. Give it a shot. See how the chat reacts. I'm good with that. Sounds fun. Yes. Yes, interested. Okay. We might try that this Friday then. Uh, welcome in, Jen Reeves. Thank you also, Bridget, for that um, little helpful tip. Well, hello, Joe. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Dolly Joyce does sound fun. Awesome. Okay, so I think I might try that this, this Friday then. It'll be Friday Night Live Sit and Spin. I guess number two because I did kind of do a video already, a recorded video, but I think a live where I can still interact with people and stop if I need to and chat and Instead of me just talking on a video one-sided and y'all listening to a conversation that I'm <laughs> having with myself on a recorded video, uh, I thought it would be more fun and more interesting. So, not do it every Friday, just, you know, maybe once, twice a month. So that sounds like a good plan. You can add mayonnaise to your hair to condition it too. I have actually heard you know like when you get gum stuck in your hair to put mayonnaise in it <laughs> so <laughs> doing a live while smoking a brisket would be could be an idea <laughs> yeah but we don't have a barbecue pit anymore my mom took it well, it was hers to begin with, but so we don't have a barbecue pit. <laughs> How are you doing, Joe? It's it's faded out, Joe. It was teal. Now it's kind of green. <laughs> Same hair color, just kind of faded. But thank you, Joe. Doing okay, but tired. Yeah. Well, hopefully you can get some good sleep and good rest soon. Mayonnaise because of the egg in it. You could just apply raw egg to your hair. Okay. Yolk too or just the uh, egg white? I don't know if I want egg in my hair, honestly. <laughs> Our poor chickens worked so hard to make those eggs. Okay. How's mom and Grammy? It Grammy's right my, here. I have hurt myself trying to undo it. I need that off. Okay. Carpenter class here. I need this out. Yeah, it that's, just pops yeah. right out. Now, they're saying that uh, mayonnaise, because of the egg in it, you could apply raw egg to your hair. Yes. I'm okay. 
can also use it in cake if you're out of shortening. Chocolate cake. Uh, I don't know if that'll. Hershey's used to have a recipe. There's a different little piece yeah. that's double ended. Right. One's a flat, one's a Phillips. But really, I did it before and I didn't believe it. It was on the back of the Hershey's can and you use Thelma's mayonnaise. In chocolate cake. Well, no, instead they're of talking the, about in your hair to condition it. I know, but instead of the eggs, I just use it. Instead of the eggs, you use it because it is eggs. And yes, I have heard that. Scramble whole raw eggs and apply to hair. So you. No. <laughs> I said our poor I don't chickens. Want to think like an egg <laughs> our poor chickens work hard to make those eggs. Oh, Joe said hi. Antoinette said hi. Oh, your mom used to do that to your hair when you were little. I can understand that. I mean, I do. We should start a donation collection to a certain amount for you to dye your hair orange. Like a telephone. No. No. No orange. No. <laughs> Okay, I'll make you a deal. I'll buy some hair spray that's orange around Halloween, okay? And then it will wash out that night. <laughs> Bring me the, um, okay. I was going to say, if you brought me the little case with all the attachments, I'd show you which one I was talking about. Cool water to rinse out. Yeah, I think hot water would make it, you know, <laughs> cook in your hair. <laughs> So it doesn't work, and I can't get it to work. What did you do? Let me see. Yeah, that's the one I was talking about. Well, that's what I'm telling you. I had it in there, but what did you do? I can't get the thing. You just tighten this down. Not that. And what? Start it. Drill something. I think it's pushed half in and half out. Well, then that's the problem. There you go. Oh, I didn't do that. I, didn't. I, I think I did. There you go. Goodbye. <laughs> um, let's see. When you see how shiny and I think you mean healthy your hair looks afterwards, you'll be smashing eggs on your head every day. <laughs> Katie making up words again. Aw. Katie sends love to Mama. Katie, she says, well, hey, <laughs> welcome in Carl and Cast. How are you today? <coughs> What's your favorite yarn and yarn weight? Mm, let's see. My favorite yarn. Um, I don't really have a particular favorite, favorite, like yarn brand. Um, but my favorite yarn weight is three, four weight. Um, I do like latte cake because they're so soft. Um, but I mostly use like red heart and, um, now, I do like when I knit, I like to use a one weight or two weight because uh, I like to do the lace weight shawls, but I don't do it that often because the last time I did it messed up my finger and my finger was twitching for a long time. Um, so I tried to slack off on, on knitting. Uh, but yeah, I, I don't really have, I do like the Horizon Hobie cakes just because they're so soft. 
and the colors, but that's not like something, you know, it's, I don't really have any favorites. I like, um, I'm not allergic to anything, so I can use wool. I like cotton. I like cotton acrylic blends. So, I mean, one weight for, one, two weight for knitting, and then uh, three, four weight, five weight sometimes for crochet. Welcome in Mimi Tammy. Mimi loves crochet. How are you today? Yep, everybody loves yarn that's here. <laughs> in olden days, there were no hair products besides shampoo if you were lucky and not using a bar of soap. Yeah, that's true. What's the most expensive yarn that you have ever used or what would you consider being the best yarn? Cool. Mm. Well, in my opinion, one of the most expensive yarns would have to be Probably one of the most expensive ones that I own are kind of like the, I can't see the label, the Cotton Kings. Because those are like, you know, sometimes 18 something on sale, 16 something uh, for one cake. Uh, but they're like 20 something from Hobie, I think. Now, the, what was the other part to the question? Uh, what would you consider being the best yarn? Now, you could say best yarn, like softest wise, softness. I would say Mainstay's uh, acrylic is pretty soft. Or Big Twist is pretty soft compared to Red Heart. Um, and that yarn most anybody can get, you know. Other than that, I really don't know. Ah, they're your favorite night right now, Katie. Welcome in, Flower Tammy. How are you doing today? <clears throat> yes, there are a lot of variants out there, Chuck. Kind of hard to think of, you know, one. <laughs> Caron cakes are good, the different various ones. I've had some cotton from Hobby Lobby that was nice, some acrylic. Um, yeah, so. Welcome in, Sonia. Sanja, sorry. Sanja and Denise Lee. Yes, we are having some, we're, um, we're supposed to be having thunderstorms today. It's kind of dark outside. We were under tornado watch yesterday. Uh, tornado warning. But yeah, we're, we're supposed to get some thunderstorms today at some point. It was supposed to rain like at, at, at 11 and then intermittent at 12 and then rain it from 1 to like 9 tonight or something like that. Well, Garden State Gardener, your other channel is here, Joe. Welcome. <laughs> Yes, that could be true, Bridget. That that probably is about, you know, if you think about how much you, you would spend and how much it cost, it could be your most expensive sitting in your own. So, yeah. I answer, so no worries. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. So, let's see. I've been on here 40 minutes. I think I'm going to start wrapping up pretty soon. Um, because I'm going to go and help my grandmother try to finish up. Um, did I get to see the eclipse? Yes, I did. It was kind of partial and it was intermittent in between cloud coverage. But yes, I did get to see it. It was not a total eclipse. You could see a little sliver of a thumbnail of the sun. But I did get to see it. Yep, most expensive is hand hand spun and hand dyed. When you started crocheting, there was no real choices for yarn. Yeah, my grandmother's told me in the past about what yarn there was, and it was mostly just crochet thread back then. And then when yarn came out, there was only certain colors or, you know, things like that. I was at Joanne Fabric and Crafts, and they had tons of different yarn. Yeah, they do. They have a lot of different stuff. Oh, your most expensive yarn is a hand spun, hand dyed from the Fiber Festival. Awesome. Oh, I still got to do the entry giveaway, so don't go anywhere. Um, I just meant wrap up as, you know, kind of start winding it down and get the entry giveaway done. Y'all got to see the total eclipse? Awesome. That's awesome. Okay, let me pull up StreamYard giveaway tool. <clears throat> I've heard of Malabrigo and Blue Heron yarn. Yeah, both I have heard both of those too. Um, never had either one of them. Oh, the most expensive yarn you had, you won, and it's Italian handmade. Wow. Oh, you won some of Bridget's yarn. Awesome. Okie dokie. Let me get StreamYard pulled up. Hmm. All right. So we are going to use the keyword green. G-R-E-E-N. So go ahead and type green, and I'm going to draw five names. We're going to do two entries each. I think that's going to be the normal thing from now on. Five people, two entries each per live. Oh, super chat. Aw. Thank you, uh, Mimi, Tammy. Let me change back to my other page. Thank you. Welcome to anyone that uh, might have been lurking that I didn't get to say hi to. Um, yeah, ordering online, you have more choices. Welcome in, Suzanne. Dream instead of green. <laughs> Welcome in, Lisa. Glad you could make it. All 
All right, let me check. It says 19 so far. I hope that's correct. Everybody enter it again just to be on the safe side because I'm not sure about uh, StreamYard. I, I can't see who's it's got and who it hasn't picked up as eligible with StreamYard giveaway tool. So it just says the word and how many entries. So. I, I saw your comment where you were saying you were in the hospital, Lisa. I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, it's still saying 20. 21, it just went up one. <clears throat> it just went up another one. Welcome in, Rachel King. Oh, thank you, Lisa. We'll be praying for you, too. Sitting at 22. Welcome. I already said welcome in, Rachel. I'm sorry. <laughs> welcome in, Scraptastic Crocheter. We are doing the entry giveaway for the monthly giveaway. So if you want a chance at winning uh, two entries, um, enter the keyword green. 23. Still sitting at 23. So I think it has everybody. But I'll wait just a second. It went up. So I guess that counted Ganny Joe. So now it's at 24. I'm guessing you're already counted, Tracy, because it didn't move. Oh, I think it counted. Um, Either Rennell or the Naked Snail, because it just went up again to 25. And I think it, it has already counted you, Carl Ann, because it didn't go up. So, stream, cream, stream, dream, <laughs> Chuck. All righty. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and draw. So I am going to try to turn my camera or adjust my camera so y'all can see the screen. I wish I could just do, why didn't I do this before I said I was going to use my old phone? Mm. You know what? Let me try something. I got an idea. I'll bring up my computer browser on on my live and I'll try to share that screen. Let's see if it it works or not. I don't know. I'm gonna try it. I'm hoping I don't need a camera. It's gonna tell me there's no camera, which I don't need a camera. And I don't need my microphone because then we'll just have feedback. All right, enter studio. Okay. Uh, 
be share screen. Window, no, Chrome tab. Hot dog. Okay. So it did go up one. We got 26. <clears throat> All right. Um, good luck, everybody. Here we go. First one. Jen Reeves. Congrats, Jen. All right. Second one. Uh, it didn't register. Oh, it did. It's just kind of lagging. Denise Lee. Congrats, Denise. All right, let's do for the third one. It still counted you, Chuck, for somehow. Flower Tammy. Congrats, Tammy. All right, let's draw for the fifth, fourth, fourth one. Sorry, getting ahead of myself. <laughs> Chuck, if your name comes up, I'll redraw. Or you can pick somebody to give it to. Sanja. Congrats, Sonia. Sanja. All right, last one for today. Good luck. My computer is lagging and going slow. Danny Joe. Congrats, everyone. Uh, Jen, Denise, Tammy, Sonia, and Danny Joe. You're going to get two each. And I'm glad I ended up remembering I can join myself on my computer tab. So. That was a lot easier than taking my camera down and flipping the camera around and showing my computer screen. <laughs> now, leave studio. Well, see, I'm streaming live from my phone right here, and my computer's over here. So I just kind of went into the studio um, and added my uh, computer. Leave. Or wait a minute. Yeah. Hopefully that don't leave me over here. Just leave over here. <laughs> okay. I'm still there. <laughs> okay. Well, that was a lot easier. And my live is way behind now. There we go. Chat's trying to catch up. Welcome in, Don Aaron. I sent you an email. You need to try to check your email. I sent you an email, I think, last week. I had a question about uh, the yarn. Um, let's see. Oh, you put the right word in. That's why it counted you. <laughs> Too funny. Well, yeah, if your name is always pick Chuck, you can just randomly put your finger on the screen and say, give it to this person. You know.
see. Making sure I didn't miss anything important in the chat before this drawing. My aunt is okay. She is better than she was yesterday. Um, they think she might try to get released tomorrow, but um, we're not 100% sure. They actually got her um, not, not discharged in, like got her into the hospital from the ER room in, um, put into an actual room to stay. So resend. Oh, yeah, I didn't get an email from you, Dawn, if you're talking to me. Oh, thank, thank you, Ganny Joe, for all you do. And you're welcome. <laughs> um, let's see. But other than that, my aunt is okay. Um, she, welcome in, Sally. Um, she did have a seizure yesterday, but it was not a really bad one. She was kind of lucid for a while during the seizure she actually could speak a little bit she uh when the paramedics got there that's when she kind of quit talking i mean she can't speak very well anyway but she can say yes no and kind of a few words and sentences and stuff but she kind of quit talking she uh they said something about try a pain pressure point and a guy pushed right here on her breastbone and she reached up and grabbed his hand so she was able to respond that way. Um, and the last two seizures she had last year, she was completely unresponsive, not lucid. Um, so that's actually a good sign. Uh, and she's not on a, a ventilator this time. So I think the seizure medicine that she's on helps. Um, but anyway, so that's all we know. Oh, you got it. A, a an alert from the severe weather uh, announcement. Well, stay safe. Thank you, Diana. I've been busy, so popping in late. That's fine, Sally. I'm glad you were able to pop in for a minute. Well, hello. Uh. Aisha, handmade items. Thank you for joining us. I'm actually fixing to wrap up my live. Um, but like this weather is so crazy. All five sessions is with a within a week, I think you mean. Um, but thank you so much, Aisha, for, for joining us. Um, us, like there's more than... <laughs> <laughs> Good Lord. I don't think I've had enough coffee this morning. Anyway, um, I am going to go. I know my grandmother needs help now. So uh, we got to try to get some of this stuff done before the rain starts to hit. But thank you everyone for joining me. I'm going to try out my live on Friday for the first time spinning yarn and doing a live. So we will see if I can get everything set up good enough to where you can see me and my spinning wheel so y'all can see the progress. All right, everyone. I hope y'all have a beautiful and safe, wonderful day. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care and I will see y'all later. Much love to you all. Stay safe if you're having rain. Bye, everyone.